Hello, how to solve for x and y in this equation? We have x squared minus y squared is equal to 9, where x and y are integers. So let's start. The left hand side of the equation is difference of two squares, so we can write them as x minus y times x plus y, and this is equal to 9. Since the right hand side is not 0, we can say that x minus y is equal to 9 or x plus y is equal to 9. No, we can't say that because this is not 0. So what we will do is we will find the factors of 9. In the factors, we can have 1 times 9. We can have negative 1 times negative 9. We can have 3 times 3 and then negative 3 times negative 3. So from the first factors, it means that when x minus y is 1, x plus y is 9, in that order, right? So we can have two cases out of this. The first one, we can have x minus y is equal to plus or minus 1, and then x plus y is equal to plus or minus 9. Then the second case, we can have x minus y is equal to plus or minus 3, and then x plus y is also plus or minus 3. So we will solve these equations. Let's consider the first one. Let's add the two equations. So we will have x plus x, which is 2x. Then negative y plus y to go. So here we have the right hand side to be plus or minus 10. We want x, so we will divide each side by 2 so that this and this will go. We have x is equal to plus or minus 5. Right? Then we will put this value of x into any of these equations. I'm going for this equation. So we have y is equal to plus or minus 9 minus x, but we have x to be plus or minus 5, right? So we have y is equal to plus or minus 4. So these are the solutions for the first case. Now let's come to the second case from here. If we add the two equations, we are getting 2x is equal to plus or minus 6. Then we will divide each side by 2 so that we get x is equal to plus or minus 3. Then let's put this value of x into any of the equations. I'm going for the second equation because it is easier to find y. So we will have y is equal to plus or minus 3 minus x which is plus or minus 3. And everything gives us 0. So when x is equal to plus or minus 3, we have y to be 0. So the values of x and y to the problem is when x is positive 5, y is 4. When x is negative 5, y is negative 4. Then we also have when x is 3 y is 0, and when x is negative 3, y is also 0. So these are the solutions to the problem. Now let me use this. Yeah, so these are the solutions to the problem. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day and see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.